Hi everyone, today I would like to show you the item editor. You might have seen already in previous videos the spell editor, NPC editor, quest editor and so on. And I also made an editor for the items. These items are the items you already can see in the game, like in the previous video, uh, that you pick when you loot, for example, a box. I'm going to show you the editor right now and you can see that it's similar to the other editors. I have a load, a save and a new entry. I can also search for the items when the list gets too big and I have a few items created already. You can see already there is a health potion, empty vial, bronze coin and so on. There are a few items already, all of them with different settings. And I'm going to show you, for example, the health potion. Like the other editors, when I click on the health potion, it will change to edit mode. And you can see here ID 1, name health potion, description, icon. Uh, this model for now is not uh, useful. And you can also see that uh, to use this potion, I need to be at least level 1, and there is no maximum level. The 0 will be interpreted as no uh, maximum level. For uh, rarity you can see common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary. These are just a few basic uh, rarity levels. Same way the binding has a few basic settings, no bind, bind on pickup and bind on equip. And for the main type there are a few types already added to the game, but uh, most of them are actually not interpreted by the server or the client. Right now I'm using consumable, which will trigger a use action on the item. In the case of potions, you will see that when I click on a consumable item, it will trigger the spell. And you can see here, the spell is just uh, the spell number 2, which is a heal effect. You have seen from previous videos that uh, the spell number 2 is a heal, with a heal over time effect as well. Now, if we hop on over to, for example, one of the previous video's potions, the giant potion. You can see it's quite similar to the healing potion, except uh, in the end, the spell used is different. And in this case, it's a giant potion spell, ID32. Same way for potion of speedwalking. In this case, the ID is ID 33. So you can see here in the spell editor, ID 33 is going to have a speed modifier, 200% speed. You can see here the giant potion has a change size modifier, 200% in scale. In this case, it's just going to put the scale at 2. And as you can see, the heal that is used in the heal potion is this one with 150 healing and healing over time. It is a very simple editor like the other ones, but uh, it is a powerful tool because I could create very quickly and uh, very simply uh, a few items to test in the game. I could create a few trash items for uh, the loot I could create some potions and use them in the game, and it really makes the job a hell of a lot easier. So I hope you enjoy it, leave me a comment in the comments down below, let me know if you have any questions, and keep an eye out on YouTube because uh, I'm going to put soon videos on how to create this kind of editor windows I've been preparing for some time, and I hope to be finished soon so you can also benefit from it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you are new to the channel, I am publishing devlogs and sharing my experience with creating an MMORPG in Unity. You can see my previous devlogs since May 2019, and there is a lot of material that I haven't posted yet from the very beginnings, and I plan to publish some of it later on. So if you want to get notified when new videos are out, 
hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Because I am a small content creator, smashing the like button will help me out a lot.